Hi everyone, David here and in this video I want to show you how you can create your own preset. Imagine that you have a picture and you want to change the exposure, color saturation and so on. Then you have several other photos where you'd like to apply the same adjustments. This is where having a preset comes in handy. We'll take all of the adjustments we made in the original photo, save them as a preset and apply them to the rest of the pictures which we want to adjust the same way. This means that you can save a lot of time by using the same adjustments and apply them to the rest of the photos you need without having spent time editing each photograph separately. Want to learn how to create your own preset? Okay, let's check it out. So, I've prepared a small collection of pictures for this video and I choose them because they are similar to each other and I think that the preset function will work here. I'll start with some adjustments with this first picture featuring the clock. I want to raise the exposure because I think this picture is maybe a little bit dark. Now that's better. Next I want to increase the saturation because the colors in the picture seem faded and quite blunt. There this makes every color in the picture more distinctive. Now what I want to do is change the colors from spring like green tones to more brown and orange autumn tones. For this I can shift primary colors. So I've moved the red color hue over the right side and as you can see some green tones are changing to yellows. Next I'll move the blue color to the left side like this. And now the trees shine with a more autumn-like tone. Okay, now if I want to use these adjustments as a preset for the rest of the photos, I have to click on the preset icon right here and then the plus button here. Now I'll set the name of the preset and folder where I want to save this preset. In this case I named it Autumn and I'll just keep the folder as the default My Presets. Click OK. Now the settings menu will pop up where you can choose which adjustments you want to save in the preset and which you don't. I'm just going to leave it for now. Click OK and as you can see our new preset is at the bottom of the list. If you want to have quicker access to the preset, you can move it to favorites by clicking on the star. Done. Now it is on the top of the list. If you want to apply this preset to the rest of the pictures, simply select the other pictures by holding Ctrl plus left mouse button and click on the preset from your list. Now you can see how the pictures have drastically changed to the adjustments that we made with the first. Sometimes some pictures need additional adjustments as it looks a little different to the other photos. Don't worry about that as Zoner Photo Studio X works with presets in a non-destructive fashion. This means that you can always change the parameters of the preset individually after applying the preset. In my opinion, this picture feels like it has too much saturation and so I'll turn it down a bit. But I also want to emphasize a point of interest. So I will use a radial filter and increase the exposure just a little bit in this part of the picture. You can also check out how the picture looked before and now. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, try creating your own preset and use it on your own amazing pictures. See you later, bye.